I tell you, man, it's nothing worse than a bitter ex-baby mama. I tell you, boy. What's up? What's good? It's your boy, Zillionaire. Welcome to the show. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Now, let me break everything down to you before I get into the video. Now, Dwight Howard, he's an NBA champion. He won his first title with LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. Royce Reed is his baby mother, okay? He has a brand new girlfriend who just got drafted into the league. Her name is T. Cooper, okay? Now, he and him winning the championship. The night he wins the championship, she sends him a, a message online, and it made her look bad, okay? And everybody on the internet was, was tripping, like, why is she sending this to him on the night he won the championship? And she's beefing with his new girlfriend. Now, she gets mad because she got exposed. Dwight Howard was live. And the message, you know how messages pop up on your phone when you're live or whatever. The, the message popped up or whatever about him and his kids and this and that. And it really gave her a good look. So now she knows she looks bad. Now it's time to make him look bad. Now let me tell you something. When you're winning with a new girlfriend, a bitter baby mama's going to do anything. She's going to slander the hell out of you, especially after she done been exposed. Now let me read this long, ridiculous post she posts. It was just ridiculous. Now, here come the sobbing and the boo-hooing and the making him look bad. Royce Reed, this is what she posts on Instagram. So we doing this. Imagine wanting and praying this moment, that this moment makes not being with your kids' lives worth it. Imagine hoping this dream is everything he imagined it would be, that he would change his priorities afterwards. Then imagine your child crying, wondering why his father is in his same city but won't call, text, visit, or send a note by pigeon. Imagine your child wanting to change his name. Imagine your child feeling he's not worth it and that he's unloved. No, imagine you're trying to be the bigger person and telling your child to love, pray, and be proud regardless and forgive and telling him it's part of his own legacy, making sure he makes a post congratulating him even if he doesn't want to. Imagine... Having the proudest and hardest fought moment of your life to be interrupted at the height of your joy by a rumor you don't know if it's true or not. That is wrong. I don't care if you saw the video proof. You do not ruin something this memorable. Hell, if y'all, if y'all, if you all that went down during the quarantine, this is what she said. Then she goes on to post. Y'all better stop praising people based off a screenshot of their life on TV and Instagram posts. Better yet, imagine having to text a third party to try to find out if this person's planning to see their two kids that live here and they haven't seen since July or spoken since August because they leave the city and the responses you don't know. I got to see what the team is doing. A multimillionaire can who can catch any flight with a chance to spend a couple hours with the children, who wants to think he's their own personal Superman, a child who really needs him now, but I hold this little boy at night through the tears and anger. I comfort him. I raise him with love, not through money. So anyone who has an issue with issue with that F y'all, straight up Braylon, will always cause my lioness to come out, period. Now, this chick is stupid, okay? She, and I'm going to tell you why she's really stupid. First of all, the basketball team this summer, they had to go in the bubble. The bubble is, in other words, they had to be in the bubble for three months. They could not leave because of COVID-19. Once you get tested, you had to stay in the bubble, and they had to stay there in Los Angeles, and they had assigned rooms and this and that, and they could not go outside that circle so the team would not be contaminated with COVID-19. So he could not leave, for the past three months. Alright. So this is stupid what she's saying. He could not go and be with his son. Because he had to uh, finish the basketball team. Okay. Once you leave that's it. You got to be tested again. You got to get sit on the bench. You got to go through quarantine all over again. So once you do the quarantine. You could go ahead and start playing with the basketball team. After three months. Then they could go see their family. So she's talking about August. And then he was he was handling business. He was too busy going trying to win a championship. He was too busy following the rules of his career. He was too busy doing what he was supposed to do, making that money and getting that extra bonus after you win a championship. You get a bonus and all that other good stuff. 
So now after the championship, he could come see his family. Now what pisses her off is the fact that she the the the, the uh her screenshot got got caught online live. That's her fault. You shouldn't be. You sh hey hey Royce, you shouldn't have been texting him live when he's winning a championship. Leave the man alone. But see, she didn't like the fact that he's winning a championship and taking pictures with his new girlfriend. <laughs> That's what pissed her off. He's at courtside. He's holding the trophy up. He got his new girl with him. He's winning. See, an ex-girlfriend, and especially an ex-bitter baby mama, never want to see you winning with a new girlfriend. They never want to see you winning with a new girlfriend. So what they do is, especially after she done been exposed for because of her posts and people done went off on her, like, why are you texting this man this after he, in the middle of why he's winning a championship, why are you texting him this? It doesn't make sense, okay? Because you're mad and you're bitter. So now she's exposed, and now she's coming up with all these lies and excuses, trying to make him look like a bad father, knowing good and well he could not leave the basketball campsite because of COVID-19. He had to finish out the season. This is ridiculous. This is crazy. I'm your boy, Sugi. Now, put your thoughts in the comments. It's sad that a lot of these women play games with their children, and this is something that I went through. It took me a while to forgive my baby, the mother of my child and my ex-wife. took me time to forgive her, but she put me through a lot because of my daughter. And I always had to fight to stay in her life, and it was hard. And you wonder why a lot of men walk away or a lot of men get tired of dealing with the mother because a lot of these mothers play games with the kids, and, and when they're bitter and when they're angry, they try to make you look bad, and they try to slander your character, knowing good and well they're making it hard for you to have a relationship with your child, and they're also trying to turn the child against the man. I'm out of here. Put your thoughts in the comments. Royce Reed got exposed. Now she's trying to make him look bad, slandering him. She mad because he winning with a brand new girlfriend that's, that's prettier than her, finer than her, and more successful than she is. I'm out of here.